Hello guys, this is Mauro from Printfotech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 Build 10 550A. This is a new leak and includes a number of improvements since the uh, last public release uh, which was uh, Build uh, 10547 which Microsoft made available to Windows inside of uh, not too long ago. So uh, there's quite a few changes so let's just dive into what's new. So as always I'm going to start with the uh, start menu and nothing has changed on the start menu but uh, we now see that Microsoft is uh, updating or uh, making better the uh, improving the um, the context menus now when we go to a live tile we'll see that we have a uh, uh, new uh, context menus with icons on the on the side and we had new options but we've seen uh, those on previous builds now in not only on the live tiles but if you go to the uh, left side of the menu uh, the context menu extends to that side as well to the uh, to the apps also I noticed that uh, the file explorer also has been updated the jump list menu now we also have a more uh, context menu and options to different sections that we can go to on the operating system uh, this one doesn't work but uh, if we go to let me see if we go to manage it opens the manage section of uh, computer management of uh, uh, Windows. Uh, we're also going to see a tiny change on the uh, on the icon of the uh, USB and now it's uh, that's been updated also in this build and we don't see any more of the I think it's a look like the uh, Windows Vista uh, USB icon that we uh, see on Windows 8 on Windows 10 but uh, that's uh, now it's changed if we click we see a bunch of things that we can inject the uh, there is a new icon as you can see for the reg edit for the windows registry and as you can see right there we also see a new icon right there so also icons has been updated on control panel now we have a new uh, devices and printer icon sound the uh, sound icon also has been updated and i believe the uh, mouse also has been updated now let me uh, just move on to the uh, um, to the next change, and that's happening on the uh, settings on the settings app. Now when we, when we go to the uh, to the settings app, <clears throat> now we're going to see some additional changes on system. When we go to display, now we can uh, use the slider to change the uh, DPI setting of uh, Windows. And when we do that, it automatically will adjust, as you saw right there. We don't have to click the apply button anymore, and we get that uh, that we need to, uh, a link to sign out and log back in because that's what's needed to the uh, changes to take effect. So let me go back. All right, let's move on to the uh, next um, change. Now, when we go to storage, Microsoft is uh, actually enabling the um, the ability to uh, install apps on different uh, storage devices so if you have a USB or SD card or an external hard drive and if you have a limited space on your main um, uh, disk now you can choose to uh, like if you if you have connected another um, uh, a USB storage device will appear right here and I can click to uh, install new apps on the uh, new device but as you can see it's labeled new apps so if you have um, previously installed apps I think there is going to, uh, there is a move to um, option but it's not part of the uh, uh, of this bill let me see if I, I think it's an apps let me see if I can show really quick you see this right here. It's still Microsoft is not enabling that that option, but uh, but uh, you might be uh, on the future be able to move some like offload apps from your system to an external storage. But uh, now it's like um, yet to be seen. All right. So uh, now so let's move to the uh, about section uh, where you see now that now the Microsoft is adding the um, uh, the Windows 10 logo. We uh, we actually most of the time we see uh, this logo on the uh, system properties, but now 
Microsoft is moving some of the elements to to this area as well. Uh, so um, another, there aren't like big changes on settings, but also there's one more thing that I want to show you that's happening on accounts. When we go to accounts, now we have two sections. Um, now we have the email calendar contacts and the um, accounts used by other apps. Before uh, this section has been renamed, it used to be that um, I was labeled, I think it was like other accounts that you use. That was the label of it, but this one's more uh, this, uh, more uh, descriptive and you can actually understand what, what this is for. But um, moving back to the uh, to this option, so basically you can add your uh, email accounts and you can add uh, Outlook has changed, Google, Yahoo, iCloud, same as the, uh, if you go to the uh, mail app. So basically instead of opening your, your mail app, you can add, you get a central location to add your email accounts and other accounts to be able to, um, the apps will be able to access uh, this account to load and you know in many cases you know emails calendar and contacts so you can do this on the mail app or you can do it in your account which is uh, very convenient and we see this kind of uh, uh, settings on mobile devices um, let me see what else uh, it's going on in here I know there is a, an update an updated setting on the update and security but I don't have it I think that's because I don't have uh, the uh, my windows activated but there is a find my device option which is the same option you will find on windows phone right now that allows you to find your device if you lose it using a GPS tracking which is uh, that's tied to your Microsoft account so if you lose your device you'll be able to track it uh, from your Microsoft account which is a really nice uh, feature to have I don't have it here but I know it exists and expect to see that on uh, on the uh, on the update when Microsoft releases Windows 10 threshold 2 which uh, it's likely to arrive on November all right let's uh, let's move along to uh, other changes that are going on and I want to show you the uh, Microsoft Edge has also been updated uh, now uh, when we open let me see let's uh, let's open something else let's open uh, CNN now we actually have the uh, tab preview as you can see right now we now have the uh, the tab previews it didn't generate the preview for this one but that's how it looked like if it didn't generate a preview but let me go to CNN and I'm going to hover over this tab you can see that that's the um, uh, that's, uh, that's how the uh, uh, that web page looks like uh, that gives us you know a better uh, way to be browsing between um, to view what's what's on the other tabs and you don't have to switch or it makes it faster or, or more smarter or even smarter a way to uh, navigate your tabs which is a really nice addition, uh, addition to uh, to Windows 10 also we we'll see that we have a new icon for the uh, make a web note if we click that you know we can actually uh, make drawings and use your pen and, and just you know mark your um, your notes on a web page and you can save it and share it with, uh, with, some, with someone else so let me exit from here and now let's go to settings where we now have uh, the uh, favorite settings now favorites have uh, their uh, its own uh, section to change uh, to change settings and now we have here the options to to show the favorites on the uh, on the uh, on, on your on your browser or import settings from another browser which is really nice to have um, and this version has been bumped to 22.10.558 and there is, I think there's a little cosmetic changes happening on advanced settings. Now instead of having a drop menu to change the, uh, the search engine you have to click the change but of course you have to actually be on a search engine. Let me just go right here and let's go to uh, Google and then we go to settings advance change 
and now we got the option to uh, to ask, to set it as your default uh, web browser. Uh, let me see what else is going on in here. Um, now we can actually open new instances of the uh, web browser. If we click the uh, middle button on the mouse, or you right click uh, and just click the uh, Microsoft Edge, you get a, a new instance which we didn't, which we weren't able to do in previous build or in the uh, uh, public uh, release of Windows 10. Uh, furthermore, uh, another change that's um, that's more beneficial for the developers. Now we can right click and inspect elements which brings us the uh, F12 um, console and that the uh, the change on this bill is that now we can dock the F12 tools right into the bottom of the um, uh, browser like can we do it on Firefox or Chrome before you know we'll just pop out and it was kind of difficult to work on a on you know to work on your website and, and develop and developing your website so that's really nice addition to have too uh, let me see what else so that's basically it what's going on on the uh, on the web browser and now let's just uh, move to perhaps the uh, the biggest changes the biggest change that we're seeing uh, on this bill now we also have the uh, messaging app if we look for it let me just right here and it's really simple it looks the uh, like the app on on the Windows phone now if you don't have any conversation this will look totally empty but you can easily click the uh, uh, plus button right here and you can make a search here and will pop out the uh, the contact from uh, your Skype uh, account uh, you also have this button right here that allows you to uh, delete conversations and let me see if I can go back let me see if I let me go back you know it's still in an early early bills and this is not working really well so we also have the uh, search button to search a conversation and then we can click the back button right there uh, it seems that in the future we're going to have a, uh, the ability to send uh, also files to uh, to someone else's attachments and if you need to type anything just type and just choose who you want to send it to uh, I have a conversation right here and as you can see when you're in conversation you also have the ability to make a phone call or a, a video a, vi a video chat uh, we also have the uh, emoji many of them that you can choose from uh, yesterday when I tried there were more of them and for some reason now I, I see only a few but uh, there's going to be a lot more all right so um, another thing I wanted to show you is that uh, uh, these two buttons will open a different app which are part of the uh, Skype um, solution for communication if um, if we go to the start and we're going to find actually the uh, a new phone app which uh, currently doesn't work really well it crashes very often and the same for the messaging app uh, they crash very often but uh, um, and you can actually make calls right now uh, or at least the the times I tried I couldn't I couldn't get it through but um, but you know that's it's pretty simple right now but that this is supposed to be the the app that you need to use to uh, make a phone call uh, through a, um, through a Skype to another Skype user or um, to uh, a regular uh, phone but that might require um, a subscription as, as you need it right now on on a Skype uh, another the other app that's um, part of the uh, this VoIP solution the uh, communication solution does the um, uh, Skype video and if we can type we can just click Skype video and that will also open the um, the Skype video app which is still also very simplistic and a lot of things don't work 
but you can you know uh, add a contact and just choose a country and, and make uh, group calls and you can just uh, make video calls through here so as you can see we have the messaging phone and the um, uh, Skype video app all part of the uh, Skype solution for communications on Windows 10 these are universal apps and they're and they're and they're gonna be available for the desktop and phones um, the um, also if you get a notification uh, on the messaging app uh, when you see the um, uh, toaster notification pop up you also will be able to do some quick replies without having to open the uh, the messaging the messaging app which is really nice to uh, to have so um, that's pretty much wraps it up what's new on on this uh, Windows 10 build 10 558 if there is any new changes I'm, I'm sure to post them on on the uh, on my website pewdiefoldeck.com or here on a video uh, don't forget to uh, to like this video share it and subscribe to my channel and I really hope this video was informative for you and I'll thank you for viewing